Neil, you must be absolutely delighted to return to winning ways this afternoon. Yeah, always delighted to get a win, and especially when you've just lost in midweek. And uh, after we'd drawn the last home game, it was vital that we got the win today. I, I must admit it's uh, not the best we've played this season by any means, but uh, the result is just as important as any of the others we had at home, and uh, delighted to get the three points. I say we edged it. A deserved victory this afternoon, you felt? Uh, I think the first half, uh, after getting a goal in front, I thought we sat back and I, and, I, and I felt Chester pushed us back, caused us problems. I think the game was far too open and um, I wouldn't blame the... As a team, defensively, I thought we, we were poor, we allowed them a lot of space and, and certainly they looked a threat on the, on, the, on the break and we needed to change that at half-time and make sure second half we were a lot tighter and I, th I think we did that. Um, but there wasn't a lot of opportunities in the second half and um, just delighted to get the winning goal. Yeah. You can't beat a, an opening goal in the first four minutes, can you? And a great way to start the game this afternoon. Yeah, I mean, it's a perfect start and you always know that the first goal's important, but we didn't we didn't um, push on after that. In fact, we sat back and and really Chester came into the game far, far too much and um, we were on the back foot for a lot of that first half, so... It wasn't. It wasn't great, but we've uh, redeemed ourselves and got the win. And um, you know, I'm uh, delighted to get three points. How important was it for Lee Gregory to get back on the score sheet after his fantastic start to the season? I think it's important because he's playing at a higher level, and uh, it's a great way he started the season to get the four goals. Uh, there's no way he's going to come back and be as sharp as he had been. I mean, that's you know, you'd have to say that. But the two games he's had since he's come back has helped him and I thought today he looked better and he looked stronger, more of a threat and um, he'll be delighted to get the goal. In that first half do we owe a bit of gratitude to Matty Glennon for yes. keeping us into the game? Yeah, I thought Matty Glennon made a couple of excellent saves which were vital, really good saves. Um, I think he's, um, when you get into Matty's age, um, you know, you can see he may become the end of his career, but I must say I think Matt he's improved from last year, and um, I think he's done really well this season. He's a player that, because he's experienced, he's been around a, a long time. He probably doesn't get a lot of praise, but um, he's been a very common influence on the team. He's a good professional, and um, you know I can't speak more highly of him. Uh, Chester equalised from a corner, and it just had to be. Gareth said and into it. We always talk about former players coming back and, and scoring against uh, their old clubs. Yeah, I mean, I don't mind if he scored two as long as we scored three. I mean, the, you know, it doesn't matter what the... You, you know it can happen. And obviously, with two of our former players, there's, there's going to be a chance. But, um, no, to give to give him credit, I thought he had a good good first half. I thought he, he was obviously eager to do well. Um, and he, he played well in the first half. Um, I must give him credit, he, he did well in the first half and um, he deserved his goal. Yeah, and Alex Sitchener, you mentioned the two former players, Alex Sitchener did well as well and he did well for us towards the end of last season. Look, uh, Alex Sitchener, you know, he's a great lad, great attitude and um, we obviously don't want him to do well today but he's a type of lad I hope he, you know, he goes on as a, a good career because he's, you know, he's a good lad, good lad to work with and uh, he'll be a good asset for you know, for Chester. You mentioned there weren't many chances in that second half, but when it came along, Matt Roberts uh, took uh, the opportunity with both hands, or with his head, you could argue. Yeah, he's um, he's threatened a goal in the games this season, but that was a fantastic header. Lovely. It's great to see his centre-half coming up and had a goal like that. But I thought he's defensively he was excellent as well today. Second half, he got stronger as the game went on. And he's developing, getting better. It's his first... You know, he stepped up a couple of leagues to get to this level, but um, he's put the first game behind him and he's been a tower of strength for us and uh, he is a threat in the box. I'm going to say, obviously we conceded from a corner, but two goals from ourselves from corners, uh, they could prove crucial this season. Well, that's what was disappointing, that we conceded off a corner, because I think it's probably the first goal we've conceded off a corner this season and um, that was a bit of an Achilles heel in previous seasons, but... Um, I think in nine of the twelve games we scored off a set piece, and they're a massive part of the game. We've got to keep making sure we put the ball in the right areas. Still, we have too many times when the ball drops and we don't get the first touch. And if we could do that, especially from some of the throw-ins we put in, 
then there will be more goals for us. But um, you don't want to be just have one way to score goals, but certainly it's a it's a big part of the game. And this home form, splendid home form, continues until we we do look a bit unbeatable at home. Well, what a silly thing to say <laughs> after you've just you know what I mean. I'll remind you of that. Uh, you know, I think I mean I, not that I want to disagree with you, but I think I think the. Barn has pushed us uh, in the second half of that game in Wrexham in the second half of that game. We've had a couple of games that have that have been close. But overall I think most of the games at home we've deserved to win. You know that I'm full of optimism, Neil, but in terms of the away form, you just I'm sure you're just gagging to just get that first away victory now under your belt. Oh uh, well you know, you wanna win. It's not nice even if you go to big clubs and you're losing away from home, it's not a nice feeling. We don't want to be losing games. But if you'd have asked me before the season, would I rather have the wins at home? Then I'd say yes. We want to have a good home record. I think over the season we need, we will need to do. We obviously need to pick up points away from home because you can't go on just winning all the time at home. But because of the home form, it's taking the pressure off results away. But they don't come any easier when you've got Luton away in your next game. So they they are tough games away. But uh, we just need to get a, maybe a little bit of luck, or which we didn't get in the Forest Green game. You know, and we can get a, and we can get a result. I'm going to say, is that the one fixture that probably stands out throughout the season, Luton Town away? Yeah, I think so. With the fact that they get six thousand at home, it's a massive game. I mean, they get better crowds than a lot of league clubs, and teams tend to go there. And what you know, you want to do well, but uh, Luton on their own ground are, are, are difficult opponents. But the reason we've progressed up the leagues is to get to games where you're playing Luton away. That's why we're in the league four. So I feel like you've got to go there and give it. You've got to give it your best shot. I knew Kidderminster would be a decent team, but we didn't. We didn't sit back, um, and we have to have some threat going forward as well as trying to set up defensively. So yeah, it's a it's a game for us to look forward to. In terms of the squad, few players sat on the sidelines. Obviously, not everyone can be involved. Was it a difficult decision this afternoon naming your your team and your substitutes? Well, I, I always give it a lot of thought. I always look at the balance, I look at the, b the bench. I mean, it's, I haven't over the years had too many decisions regarding subs because we've normally been pretty, you know, we've never really had big squads. I think it'll start to... What we've got is we've got a squad of players, but we've got certain players that need games and are not match fit. They're fit, but they need to play games. So that's a bit of a problem because in order for them to compete to get in the team, they really need to be playing games. So it's a little bit of a problem in trying to get them games. It would be wrong to say Keith Briggs or John Worthington to throw them in now, especially Worthy not even had a pre-season game. You, you can't do that, not at the level that we're at. So we, we, that's not too tough a decision, but it's tough when you're leaving out but like you know Kevin Hallsgrove. But but as I say, Marcus Carver's loan's finished now, so that frees up a space, and um, we we just have to look every week and now. Obviously, Matty Pearson suspended. Mm. Then that's uh, you know an opportunity for somebody else. So there's always going to be injuries and in, in suspensions. And so you mentioned suspensions. Has the discipline been a bit of a disappointment for you at the start of this season? In terms of silly picking yeah, up a yellow card. Yeah, I, I think it's very hard nowadays to, if you like to tackle, I think it's hard to to not get booked. Um, I, I do think there's a lot of the petty. Um, Descent, kicking the ball away, talking to the ref. You know, you've got to cut them out because the important players for us, and we can't afford to be losing them. And that might be the difference in some games that you're losing players because of, of discipline. So that's up to me to to sort out. And um, but I don't have any any problems if you if it's for a challenge that you go and try and win and get booked. Then you know, then I will defend the players like that. Yeah. You mentioned uh, Marcus Carver and his loan finishing. Firstly, how much have you been impressed with him in his loan spell? And secondly, we've seen Dale Johnson here at the Shade this afternoon. Is he close to making his FC Halifax Town comeback? Well, firstly, Marcus Carver, he's helped us tremendously with his work rate and his attitude. And he came in at a time where he had some difficult games to contend with. I understand from his point of view, he wanted to play all the games. But, but I thought it was important that Lee Gregory got back into the team and because he's going to be here all season so I think he understood that but no he's only give, he's only done himself you know credit comes out with it credit while he's been here and it's given him a taste of playing at another club and I know he's enjoyed it um, 
And as I say, I hope he has a successful career when he goes back. And Dale Johnson? Well, Dale, because he's not allowed to play in the FA Cup today for, for Barrow, then he's come to watch us. Dale is desperate to come back and be part of the squad. I just have to decide. I don't want to bring him back if he's not going to be getting used. He might as well be playing games at Barrow. So I think he realises that. And uh, But he's obviously a good player to... And he looks leaner. I mean, if you look at him now, he's he's in good shape and it's been a good thing for him to go and play games. But obviously he wants to be part of things here. Yeah. Well done on another home victory this afternoon, Neil. Thank you so much for yeah. playing.